action. I'm going to tell you something else. Yes. Uh-oh. I'm a, I feel like I'm on the road. Man, hit him. I think when we, I am not a very religious man. I don't, I don't subscribe to any one religion. I definitely believe in the creator because I've seen God. I've seen his uh, hand in my life. So I know God is real. I've seen the yes. d- divine energy. I feel as though as a nation, especially black people, when we left the confines of the church and its order, we were severely destroyed. Why? Because it gave us our moral compass and moral high ground. We don't have that anymore. We've totally lost it to where we can just do whatever we want to do. So a lot of times what you see in these comments are people who just don't have a moral high ground to start with. They don't have any type of morality. They don't follow any type of order. It's a free for all. And what happens when you have no order and you follow a free for all mentality, you're detrimental to your brother. Now, let's explain why there was a great exodus from the church. We have to talk about accountability. And when our pastors were betraying deviant behavior and using the finances for personal gain, black men saw that and said, yo, that black man ain't no leader. Deuces. I'm up out of this thing. And so there was a reason for us to leave the church. But leaving the church doesn't mean that we have to lose our character and our faith as we leave the church. The church is just the building. I'm the congregation. You the congregation. We preaching to the people right now. Right. That you have to have some standards. You have to have some scruples about yourself. Like, I love people. I love women too much to just fuck every woman I meet. I'm take I don't I can't take you advantage need to have some of claps you, man. like a sound like we started <laughs> claps on it. Yeah. We're gonna get a soundboard as soon as we get this dope ass engineer, as soon as you tap in and put that uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all need we need we need an engineer. <laughs> hey, you're right, because this is coming from somebody who was a I was a player, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it might one of them chicks might be watching me right now hating me. Uh but Mad as a but my but my 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 wife right now, uh, and this is my second marriage, you know, but the right one. I, I learned the understanding of finding a wife, a man that finds the wife, finding the good thing. I don't want to be in the streets. It is good for me to come home to one woman. It is good for me to be with one woman. One, because it adds more to the discipline I have in my life. It also makes me a better father for my children. Um, Go ahead. I just have one question. You're, for your first marriage, how old were you when you got married? I was 18. Bro, and so for, from your first marriage, you and your ex-wife, y'all grew together, learned each other, but the bumps and bruises devastated the relationship, and we don't have an example of stick-togetherness. Right. Is that, is that an assumption? Because I had the exact same experience. I got married when I was 19 years old, and the, the well, bumps and bruises hurt us. Well, the, it, it's not just that. the, the what, what they don't tell you because you don't get a handbook when you're born, right? Like You don't get here, and then there's a handbook waiting for you. A marriage is for a man. So it also says in the Bible, look, I'm preaching. I said I ain't religion. Uh, when I was a child, I thought like a child, yeah, spoke yeah. like a child. When I became a man, I learned to put childish things away. See you later. The marriage and responsibility uh, is for a man. And you must become a man to be able to handle it. When we're in our youth, we're young. We do young things. And you do destroy your relationship. Sometimes you do devastate your marriage in such a way you can't come back from it. So sometimes you just must discard it. I think when you become of age, you realize that the relationship is the man's responsibility. It's my responsibility to hold my marriage together in my actions and how I lead by example. And holding the bitch accountable. Nah, but I, I did want to say that, but, but, but your wife's not a bitch. Holding your wife accountable when you need to and choosing choosing of the right wife that's tell, another thing tell jay-z that his wife ain't no bitch because he likes to call his wife a bitch in his music well he's a rapper but i'm gonna tell you something <laughs> i mean rappers talk like that does that give him a, a pass but beyonce in my personal opinion she does hold reverence and praise to him you can hear that through her music and then how he he, he gives her the same so there are good examples that we can see in celebrities i don't, I don't disagree with that yeah. but it's the choosing. Like, I, I talked about this on, on on the Charm Hour. Like, men don't choose partners well. This is like, these are things that men also, so amongst men fighting for their rights, now men must be amongst wise counsel. Mentorship is one of the most important things yes. that men don't have a conversation about. Nope. Like, a, a, a man who has more experience than you will watch you fail because they failed. And they think that shit is funny. Like... If you if we had some tutelage and some guidance, then we'd have better men. I like I would love to just sit here and bash women because they make me angry with their behavior. But their behavior is a direct reflection of there's a lack of leadership from men. I'm just man, that's like tell the truth and get some power, bro. 
Like, I think I've us said having this, that conversation is important. It's great. I've said this over and over again. I be getting up. So, on on, on the Charm Hour, yes, I sir. be, every once in a while, I tear into black women specifically ass. Like, it is my job specifically to address black women because I feel like black women need to be addressed and don't get addressed enough. However, comma, I always cycle back to it's my fault. It's our fault as men because if we led by example and we lived a more righteous life, we would influence them. Women are are di- listen. Let's 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 pull up the, the the veil right now. Let's go. Women are malleable by nature. They do what you want to by nature. That's why is, is the that battlefield so? for them is in the mind. You can talk them out of things. You mean agreeable, yeah. Malleable. Agreeable. Ma- ma- malleable is the wrong word, right? No, no, no it's a okay. great word. Okay. I'm just saying yeah. malleable and agreeable yeah. for the for the layman. Okay. So 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 it's like, <laughs> yeah, so it's like they can be molded. So when you don't mold them correctly, when you're not a great of, of great influence, you're gonna see what you see today. So it's our fault. And a lot of why we have allowed them to be who they are <laughs> is because we are perverted. Men are very sexual and perverted creatures. Firstly, so we've allowed them to get on TV and do what they do and shake their rumps and sell beer and all of that because we enjoy it and then they begin to enjoy it as well. So Su- Super simp culture is like they'll sit there and they see Meg Thee Stallion or any random ass chick that's wearing a Home Depot apron and give her a thousand likes and send her a thousand dollars and just sit there and just admire her beauty and that's, the, that's devastating us as men. Stop giving these women attention and clicks. Stop hitting the like button. If you want to see her booty shake, hey, like t- watch it for thir- for three seconds and scroll. Do you know that lady got like over a hundred thousand uh, followers on Instagram? She's like, uh, she's got the blue check, a real blue check. You know what I'm saying? He- he- here's the thing: wasn't we just talking about? Uh, in the hip hop community, especially how blue collar jobs were trash, and you have all these women talking about they won't date blue collar this and blue collar that. A, wo- a woman poses in a Home Depot uniform. You know how many brothers wake up and go to Home Depot every day, Ebony. and it's an explosion. Um, that's that's wild. There's some beautiful ass women at Home Depot. I was at Home Depot. I was like, she from Houston Christ. too. I was like, holy Christ. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Houston got the baddest women on earth. You can go to H E B. I'm telling my wife this. And, and listen, and, and me and my wife can talk about things openly, so I don't hide things from her. We got eyes, right? Me and guys. I seen a woman at, it, she just, she's a cashier. Hey, what does H-E-B stand for? I think here everything is better. <laughs> <laughs> everything, even the cashiers. The coochie's better than H-E-B. Fine. She probably about 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, like, Houston, you can see all these types of women. It's ridiculous. But guess what? I also see this, too. I'm going to give sisters their credit. Yes. Out and about, I'm seeing women are postal workers. They are working uh, in the stores. They are doing construction work. Women are going to work. They, Women are out there working, taking care of themselves. They work their ass off, but simultaneously, once they get the revenue that they need to go and purchase a home, they don't have a head of household because they think since they made the money, they're the head of household. And just to respect the nature of the... You said mold. And women might get so angry at the fact that every woman becomes a reflection of her man. And so if you see a woman who is out of order, it's because her husband is just allowing her to just be out of order. And so I'm looking at men and just say, hey, get your get your character right. Get yourself in order. I would like you I would like you to get your finances in order. But in order for us to get our finances in order, we have to have a financial labor revolution in America to empower the working class man. Our system tells us how much men are worth an incarcerated person. I've been incarcerated. An incarcerated person is worth thirty-two thousand five hundred dollars a year. If that's in a private uh, a private institution, what is a man to to exist in Houston, Texas? It costs forty-two thousand dollars. That means every American man should be making forty-two thousand dollars. And if we don't fight for and die for that wage, then we're going to continue to get wiped up financially. I agree. I agree. I I, I definitely think that. Uh, I think what you're seeing now, men as a whole are communicating to one another. Men are talking about the way they feel. Men are swapping notes, something that women have traditionally done because they've actually been more of a social creature than us. But men are talking to one another and we're having this dialogue and we need it. So we need to talk about all these different things. What should I be doing as a man? Um, What should I expect as a man? What are my standards? What are my standards in a partner? These are things that we traditionally haven't discussed as men that women do. Women can have standards because, hey, her mama going to tell her he got to have this, he got to have that, he got to do this. Even her daddy will tell her he got to do this and got to do that. Rarely are we talking 
told what someone should be doing for us or how they should be behaving uh, for us. We're always told what we should be doing for someone else, but we never really told what we should expect. No, man. Like my feelings, my opinions, my entire identity is completely marginalized and I'm supposed to die to myself to uplift someone else. And in this whole political uh, situation in our society, I'm like, the only way that we can change this thing is if men work with men and build up men and give each other information on how to be better men. And then once we do that, once men become men of character, end of discipline, and stand up, all this shit changes. The greatest American alive. 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 The